What's up, Culture Drop? Galen here. This video is about a question I get all the time, which is how do you engage Gen Z and younger employees in the workforce? How do you retain them? Like, how do you engage them and keep them and love them? How do you love them? This is a juicy question and I literally get it a lot. And on both ends of the spectrum, I get the like, the grumpy like, how do you engage these people? They don't want to work. They come and they sh they're here for a week and then they quit. Ah. The two like, you know, we actually want to engage these people. Like, how do we do it? How do we keep them? How do we like attract them and all that kind of stuff? So I have a lot to say. This is a big topic, but I'm going to share with you three things that I think are important in terms of like how to engage these folks uh, and get the best out of them. And this is how. Number one, which seems really obvious, but always it's like, how do we engage these people? How do what do we do? How do we deal with them? Blah, 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 blah. Ask them. Ding. Yes, ask them. Go to the people that you have that are younger generations and Gen Z and ask them what motivates you? What do you want for rewards? How do you feel? How can you feel engaged? Like go to them and ask them what they want instead of assuming and guessing and trying to figure out like this mystery of the universe. Like how do we engage these people? How do we figure out what they want? Number two, this one comes up when people are like, well, we hire younger people and then they're here for a month or two months and then they leave and they want to go. So my number two here is onboarding. Onboarding is not just like, here's your job, there's your desk, here's your like, here's your computer, go do your work. Onboarding should be incredibly intentional. If you are an average or keeping these people for two months, what is happening from day one until day 60, right? Like ask them, interview them, interrogate their experience for your company by asking them and engaging them. Like onboarding should last for six months, not for two days. Just assign them a mentor, like check in with them. You should have like a, a two month survey. Check in with them along the way. Be very, very intentional about onboarding. And I think for a lot of companies that means shifting. Onboarding doesn't just mean read the employee handbook and check these five boxes, like an extended onboarding period to be like, what, are the, what is this? What is their experience at one month, at two months, at three months, at five months? Right, like continue to be really, really intentional about onboarding them and like think about onboarding lasts for six months. Like how do you continue to engage these people? Really important about that. Part of the reason is by the time that you figure out that they're not happy or there's something about this job that like they're not satisfied with or whatever, it's usually too late. So if you're not asking those questions before you get to the point where they're kind of like, ah, eh, this isn't a good fit for me, it's too late. You've got to do it right away. You've got to be having those conversations with them, connecting and engaging with them, right? With those conversations. If my leader is coming to me to be like, what motivates you? You know, how can you be successful here? How can I help you and support you? Those types of things lead to like people staying longer and being more engaged in that job. And the third one is to engage them, involve them, engage them, find a way to give them a seat at the table in a way that is useful to you, that is useful to them as well. Tap into their skills and their expertise. What are they good at that you wouldn't otherwise find out? What other opportunities and things exist for them? Like tap into the other things that they're good at outside of just this single individual job description. A lot of younger people are great at a million things. So tap into to that find other ways that they can contribute maybe they do an internal newsletter for the organization or something like find out what they're passionate about find out what they like and like i've shared in other videos don't have me come up with all the ideas sit down with your leadership team intentionally and be like cool for younger generations that we want to understand better whatever what are other ways we can engage them like come sit down put some energy into like okay we hire somebody what does the first five or six months look like very intentionally along the way what are the different ways that we can engage somebody that's new that's younger asking them is a great way to do that you want to understand somebody else instead of just trying to figure it out and asking a million other people like go to that person and ask them talent map of people which means just like ask them what do you want to do do you want to become a leader where do you want to go in your career um, even if they don't have an answer when we go and ask them, the fact that you ask them shows that you care and that means something. So, uh, good. All right. Great. Those are some of my thoughts. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. Uh, I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. <laughs> Probably not ready. Thanks for watching and tuning in. Subscribe to our channel. We put a lot of content on here. You can also subscribe to the Culture Drop mailing list and get these emails in your inbox every Tuesday morning. Follow our social media channels. Uh, put a lot of free content out about just being more awesome and building great teams.